The scripture is saying I'm kind of like a fool and I don't want to be a fool. None of us want to be foolish in life, right? So let me read it to you. Uh, starting in verse 13, then someone called from the crowd. They were calling to Jesus. They said, teacher, please tell my brother to divide our father's estate with me. Now, I hear these conversations all the time of family members that are really irritated because somebody who had stuff died and things were not divided the way that they thought that they should. And there's a lot of accusations that go on. Oh, somebody changed the will. Somebody got to them when they were into sound mind. Somebody finagled it around and got a lawyer to sign it off. And sometimes that actually happens. People do crooked things like that. And one person will get everything while others that took care of that person got like little to nothing. And it gets people very, very mad where they don't even want to be around each other anymore. Well, this is what was happening here. So they come to Jesus and they say, hey, you know, my, my brother is not dividing the father's estate. In other words, when he's, he's not even saying anything about, we're assuming here that the father is now gone or is about to be gone. There's no concern about the father. There's no concern. Oh, I'm going to miss him so much. Oh, I love him so much. It was like, hey, Jesus, can you step in here? Maybe you're saying this, God, can you step in here and make sure that I get what I'm entitled to? I want my stuff. Don't mess with my stuff, right? Here's what Jesus replied. Friend, who made me a judge over you to decide such things as that? Then he said, beware, guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Now, doesn't this fly in the face of everything that we believe in American society today? I mean, it literally does. It's about how much stuff do I have? What kind of car do I drive? What brand clothes or shoes am I wearing? How are people looking at me and and seeing my lifestyle on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or whatever social media platform that you're using. It's all about the image. I'm going to use filters to make myself even look better. Just the other day on Zoom, I was doing this and I thought, wow, I look old. I look wrinkled. And so they have that little feature, little filter, right? And it says to clear up your appearance. Man, I could have made myself look like I was 15 years old if I rolled that lever all the way over. Uh, I started to pull it over and I thought, oh, that's too far. Nobody's going to believe that. So I had to pull it back just a little bit. So I still had some of the wrinkles in there. I know as you're looking at this podcast, I probably look incredibly good. But hey, all I can tell you is we're very vain, right? It's all about our stuff. It's about what we have. 